Brown-eyed people are the ones who originated or who founded every major religion on this earth. No white people have ever founded a major religion. Now you need to realize the contributions that have been made to society, to civilization, by brown-eyed people, by people of color. I'm talking about people of color here, folks. And most of us are not aware of those things because we live in a racist society and because we are educated by a racist school system that only teaches us about white contributions. And that's a fact. And if you don't like it, I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. If we would start telling the truth in schools, we would not have racism. We could cure racism in this country. Somebody said, I heard somebody... I heard somebody in the green room say that racism is inbred. No, it is not. Racism is not part of the human condition. Racism is a learned response. You have to be taught to be a racist. You are not born racist. You are born into a racist society. And like anything else, if you can learn it, you can unlearn it. But people like this choose not to unlearn it because they're afraid they will lose power if they share it with other people. We are afraid of sharing power. That's what it's all about. That's the reason men won't share power with women because they are afraid they will lose power. People, if we would share power, we would empower many people so that we would all be more powerful. What we're dealing here with is mental illness. Racism is mental illness. <laughs> Racism was defined by the Joint Council on Mental, President's Joint Council on Mental Health in Children in 1959 as being the number one mental health problem among children in the United States. And they didn't say among black children, they said among children. If you judge other people by the color of their skin, by the amount of a chemical in their skin, you have a mental problem. You are not dealing well with reality.